Welcome to the Brother and Village Morning Show. I'm Becca Carver. And I'm Kelly Collier, and we are here at the Iron Valley Golf Course for our annual BV Golf Tournament. So let's tee off the show. I'm stepping out of the way. Well, that was pretty good. Go, Cal. You got it. October 4th, we will be hosting our Friday Night Variety Dance Party in Wolf Auditorium. This happens at 6 p.m. and I will be your DJ. Yes, DJ Kelly Collier is coming to Wolf Auditorium. Cost of this will be $5. You will want to call Sharon Culp to sign up. And let's check in with Dana and Megan to hear all about Chaplaincy Care Month. We want to let you know some of the activities that will be taking place on Spiritual Care Month in October here at Brother and Village. On October the 2nd will be a prayer tea in Wolf Auditorium. Then on Saturday, October the 5th, will be Love Feast in Wolf Auditorium. And then joining the world for World Communion Sunday, uh, we will be celebrating communion in the chapel service on October the 6th. And uh, then we have a few other events that are gonna be taking place Spiritual Care Month uh, here at Brother Village. Yes, so on the third Sunday of the month, we are gonna have a service of anointing for healing and wholeness. Um, on the 24th, the Thursday, is our annual spiritual life meeting. And at that meeting, we will also offer a blessing of hands for all those who serve in any way. And on the 30th of October at 2 p.m., we're going to have a blessing of the pets um, for all those with pets here on campus at the Welcome Center entrance. Hope you can join us. It's our hope uh, that Spiritual Care Month will ignite the spirit within you, uh, the spirit of God. So join us uh, for those events of Spiritual Care Month here at Brethren Village. If you haven't heard about our Cyber Senior Program that we have partnered with Mannheim Township High School students to come here to Wolf Auditorium, have you heard? I have heard. The residents are loving it, so let's take a closer look. Hello, my name is Sharon Schaefer. I'm a principal at Brecht Elementary School in Mannheim Township School District, and it's been a privilege to come to Brother and Village to bring Cyber Seniors. Cyber Seniors has been an initiative, which was an initiative from our superintendent, Dr. Felty, where we wanted to work on partnering our students with senior citizens and developing relationships and working on helping residents learn about technology. October 7th at 1 p.m., our Crown Series will continue in Wolf Auditorium. October 8th is the resident wellness meeting in the Fieldcrest Great Room at 10 a.m. October 9th at 10.30 and 1.30, President John Snader will be having a town hall meeting. Our topics for this meeting will be our capital campaign and expansion of both Wolf Auditorium and the Fieldcrest buildings. Let's take a listen to Lauren Snyder from Community Life to find out what's happening in the month of October. Thanks, Becca and Kelly. Residential flu shots are being held this month. See the next slide for the location and details. Residential neighborhood meetings will be held this month with Dale Weaver and myself. See the next slide for the following dates and locations. The October Wellness Adventure Trip is horseback riding, so if you're interested, contact Neil Fair. October 12th, we will be going on a fall foliage tour of the Reading and Northern Railroad. This trip is currently full, however, you are more than welcome to call on be placed on the wait list. Now let's hear from Rick and Jim for a very special event happening during the month of October in dining. I heard the special guest has traveled from overseas to come over and share his talents with us. 
Hi, Becca and Kelly, thank you for having us. I'm here today with Director Richard Chambers to tell you about some wonderful things going on in dining. Yes, thank you, Jim. I'm here with Executive Chef Jim Carr, and we're here to talk to you about some exciting things that are happening in dining services. Uh, we're gonna talk about an award we just received, as well as a Global Chef that's coming here to Brethren Village. Global Chef is a Sodexo program that brings the finest talent from across the globe right here to our campus. Uh, last year, uh, Sodexo hosted 21 chefs that did a month-long internship uh, traveling North America, and we have been chosen to host uh, Chef Lionel Van Damme. Uh, he'll be coming in October, uh, and he's coming from France. So we will be uh, hosting uh, Chef Lionel, and he will be presenting uh, a wonderful cuisine from France. And I'll, I'll tell you what that means for uh, the residents here at Brethren Village. Uh, we'll be able to have two events with, um, uh, with Chef Van Damme, and the first one will be on October the 14th. Uh, we will be cooking one of his specialties over in Chives Restaurant that day. Um, in addition to that, he'll be training with all of our chefs, uh, trying to you know, learn some things from our chefs, as well as you know, impart some of his knowledge onto them. And also, um, you'll be able to taste one of his, ingredient, one of his uh, items, like I said, and he'll be there to, to speak with you if you'd like to talk with him, if you're having dinner over in Chives. And then the next day on October the 15th at 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, he will have a cooking demonstration in Wolf Auditorium. Um, and uh, at that time, we'll also, um, after his demonstration, you'll be able to taste you know, some of the things that he did there during his demonstration. So it's a uh, demonstration and a tasting for you. And that there is no charge for that. So if you'd like to come and join us for those, those events, that would be great. You get to meet a, a real uh, French chef. Um, and I think that's, that's about covers what's, what's happening. We're very pleased with him coming here. And we're pleased that Jim is uh, part of the Global Chef Program. And on behalf of all 120 dining team members, we'd like to say bon appetit. October 16th from 10 to 4.30, the Blood Bank will be here on campus, registration will be in Wolf Auditorium, and the bus will be right outside the Welcome Center. Now let's hear from Lauren again about the Medicare Information Panel. Thanks Becca and Kelly. It's almost time for Medicare Open Enrollment. Open Enrollment is from October 15th until December 7th, 2019. Community Life will be sponsoring a Medicare Information Panel. This will be held on Friday, October 18th in Wolf Auditorium. There will be two sessions. The morning session will be held at 10 a.m. and the afternoon session will be held at 3 p.m. This event is open to residents, Medicare eligible team members, friends, and family. There will be a panel with a Medicare expert answering all your questions. Just a reminder, Saturday, October 19th, we will be participating in the countywide open house from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. October 21st at 2 p.m., we will be having a coffee house hour in the Fieldcrest Great Room with Pat Cosin. The cost of this event will be $5 a person. You will going to want to call Sharon Culp to sign up. Also happening in October, October 21st, we are going to be boarding an elite coach and heading out to Pittsburgh. So we are five days out in Pittsburgh and you will get the updates as we're out. Hi, my name is Lori Shaner and I am the Director of Therapeutic Recreation at the Courtyards. Usually that job entails wearing many hats and today I will wear my favorite hat, my witch hat, because hmm, what time is coming up? Trick or treat and Halloween. We want to invite all children of, and grandchildren of team members, residents, and even other little people you might know to come to our trick or treat night at the Courtyards and the Short Term Rehabilitation Building. It is going to be held on Thursday, October 24th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. If you cannot attend or don't know any little people, we also are looking for donations of candy. It takes a lot of candy so that all of our residents have candy to give to the trick-or-treaters. Last year, I believe we had over 100 children come through both buildings, and it is a wonderful night. 
So I invite everybody to spread the word, bring your children, bring your grandchildren, and donate candy. Candy donations can be made at any time. You can drop them off with any um, of the administrators or anybody in administration, I should say, at the courtyards. Um, that includes Michelle, our um, administrator. Her office is on the first floor. Uh, next to her office is Elizabeth Sides. She is um, in admissions and she will also accept your candy. Or if you're feeling adventurous, you can come up to the third floor as my office is inside of the doors of Clover Ridge North. So we hope we have a great turnout this year and hope to see everyone and happy Halloween. October 31st, the Crown Series continues in Wolf Auditorium with season two, episodes seven and eight. Just a reminder folks, Brethren Village gift certificates are always available online on our Brethren Village website. Also, you can call Concierge Services at any time to get one. Tell your loved one to give you the gift of Brethren Village. That's right, folks. These are gifts that keep giving throughout the year. You can go on any Brethren Village bus trip, any elite bus trip, and also food and dining throughout the year. Talking about elite bus trips, 2020 elite bus trips are hot off the press. That is exciting. It is very exciting. I can't wait to share them with you. And I heard something about Ben and Jerry's, so let's take a closer look. You're not gonna wanna miss out on this upcoming 2020 elite bus trip season. There is a lot of adventures to be had and we are going to have tons of fun this year. And as you can see, I've got a lot of seats to fill. So don't hesitate to sign up early so that you have a spot on the bus. November 1st at 6 p.m. in Wolf Auditorium will be our dance. November 7th and 8th, the sewing group will be having their sale in Perkissimo. So stay tuned for more details. November 9th, we will be going at 4.30 to the Strasburg Railroad to have a murder mystery dinner. The cost of this trip is $72.50. You are going to want to call Concierge Services to sign up. On November 11th, it's the annual Veterans Day Luncheon. Administration will be paying for any veterans lunch. Spouses will need to pay for their own meal and you can contact Concierge Services to sign up. On November 12th, we will be having a bocce tournament with Garden Spot Village. So make sure to call Neil to sign up. And then on November 13th is the 30th annual Mermaid Show in Wolf Auditorium at 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. The 6 p.m. showing will be having shuttle services. November 18th at 1 p.m. we will be closing up our crown series with the season finale in Wolf Auditorium. On November 22nd at 9 a.m. there is a Christmas shopping trip to King of Prussia Mall. So sign up with concierge services. On November 22nd, it is the Extraordinary Give. The Extraordinary Give, if you've never heard of it, is a wonderful time for Lancaster County organizations to come together and you can give donations to them. So we will be having a giving station set up in Chives from 11 to 1.30. So please stop by the table and give to your favorite Brethren Village. On Wednesdays in December, we will be having our Advent Teas. So that's December 4th, 11th, and 18th. December 12th, we will be taking an elite bus trip up to Radio City, New York. It is a fun time. There are seats still available. So if you'd like to attend, please call me to sign up. December 16th is our favorite time of year here at Brethren Village. We have our mistletoe tour. So we ask residents to open up their homes decorated for the holidays for other residents to tour. So if you are interested in being a host this year, please contact me to open your home. And then on December 19th is everybody's favorite day at Brother and Village. It is the, the team, team member Christmas show. show. Woohoo! It's a, always a fun time. Then on December 24th is the Christmas Eve service in the chapel at 2 p.m. 
December 31st is our New Year's Eve party in Wolf Auditorium, and that is hosted by the Rockin' Seniors Dance Club. So you are going to want to stay tuned for more information. Please note that the food collection for the Lancaster Brethren and Christ Food Pantry has been moved to January. Hey everyone, this is Rennie McGill, I'm Vice President of Development at Brethren Village. And while I, I'm here with Samantha and Debbie, and we usually hang out in the White House, but today we're in a different location. We are at Iron Valley Golf Course. Today is the 29th annual golf tournament for Brethren Village to benefit the Good Samaritan Fund. But you know, events is not all we do in the development department. So we're gonna take a few minutes here and just tell you about a little bit about what we do so that you know, and uh, we hope that that way when you call us or you get in touch with us, you say, hey, that, that's, that's the person I need to reach. So first of all, what is development? A lot of people ask me, oh, so did you build the apartments at Northside Court? No, that's not the kind of development that we do in the White House. We are developing relationships for Brethren Village and developing opportunities for the people that support Brethren Village with their dollars, with their time. That's what we're developing at, at Brethren Village. And it's the support from people like you that ends up with the Good Samaritan Fund. It benefits uh, Brethren Village residents. So that, that's, uh, that's really the, the crux of it. But to develop those relationships, to develop the opportunities, we have a lot of things that go on during the course of the year. So the main thing that I work on is I, I work, I, I'm the, I guess the manager of the department. Um, so we, we kind of set each year, what are our goals? What are we gonna do this year? Are we introducing new things? Um, that and a lot of work that I do is, is uh, individual, working with the donors, whether it's individuals, whether it's our, our um, sponsors, the, our partners that sponsor our events. Um, a lot of that kind of one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one work that I do. So earlier I talked about an important part of the development uh, department's work is events, and we're here at the golf tournament. Really the person that is the uh, brains behind the event is Samantha Reinier. She's a development associate. She's gonna tell you a little bit about what she does. One of the major things that I do um, is uh, plan our events. Um, so we are here at the tournament. Um, it is one of our two more major events, this and the Good Samaritan Banquet. Um, we also do, which is held in April, we also have the Extraordinary Give in November. All of our events throughout the year um, do benefit the Good Samaritan Fund, which supports our residents who can no longer pay for their care. And another thing that we do each year, of course, is that we have, an, we have appeals, direct mail appeals. And so Samantha really coordinates that, um, coordinates getting the, the materials together. And then the person who is uh, responsible and uh, what we really need to do is keep good records when the gifts come in. And so, um, again, this is how we work as a team. Um, Samantha and I work on getting the letter, getting the package ready, and then the gifts come in and we're delighted. We all say, wow, thank you. And then we hand it off to Debbie Spangler. She's the development assistant. So Debbie, what, what, what's a day like for you when, when you're opening those envelopes? Well, it's always exciting to see as the donations come in and the people have a heart to give. Um, toward the Good Samaritan Fund or the other funds there at Brethren Village. And a neat part of my job is I get to say thank you. Um, we um, issue a receipt letter for just about every donation that comes in. And so um, it's just always neat to be able to say thank you to the people that have uh, donated uh, from their, what they've been blessed with. And it's just been really neat to be here today uh, for me to see face-to-face uh, -face some of the partners that have been a, a big part of uh, you know the Good Samaritan Fund or this tournament or the banquet to just have face-to-face -face, um, interaction with them has been really neat. Hi everyone, we just finished up a week of BV Games where we had a great time enjoying competition, fun, and had great weather. We started on Wednesday, 
September the 25th, where in the morning we did outdoor games, which consisted of ball toss, badminton serving, croquet, and frisbee golf. We then followed that up Wednesday afternoon by going into Wolf Auditorium and enjoying uh, 13 teams competing in a cornhole tournament. Thursday, we had all indoor activities, starting out in the morning with a golf simulator. We had Wii Bowling and also a putting contest. Thursday afternoon in Wolf Auditorium again, we had a ladder golf tournament. And Friday, we finished up at nine o'clock with a 1.1 mile walk where the weather was great, the sun was shining nice and bright, and everyone enjoying great conversations throughout our walk over our beautiful campus here at Brother Village. Beautiful day for a walk. It's fun and we love it. Yes, we sure do. Yes, indeed. It's well, great. We're looking forward to the next one. Absolutely. Yes, it's a good time. Planned, well organized, lots of people. Meet lots of people and it's great exercise. And we have a beautiful day for it. It's wonderful. Perfect play. Absolutely. <laughs> That has been the 2019 BV Games. See you next year when we do our full week of BV Olympics. Kelly and I are here at the driving range, getting ready for next year's tournament. You ready, Kelly? I'm ready, Becca. Go. Yes. Well, folks, that concludes our golf tournament here at Iron Valley and also our October BB show. We will see you next month.